What's up everybody? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to go over and show you how to control your music on your Mac using hand gestures. Now the way we're going to do this is by installing a free application, as you can see, called Control Air. Now the only real requirement, aside from the application, is that your computer or your Mac will need a camera. So if you have a camera, let's get ready to show you how to do this. So as mentioned, the Control Air setup is fairly simple, though I have been having an issue with the interface where everything's blocked out, but I was still able to get it started because it's so simple. There's the welcome screen, you can go to next. Then here's camera alignment where we're going to see exactly how far away or close we should be when we're trying to activate our air gestures. Next, there's a section called better experience and you could toggle this or check this box and send some user information to the developer and help them ensure that the application is as good as it can be and then there's a tutorial now I'm not gonna go over this tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial for you the tutorial just brings up iTunes and shows you how to do it but let's actually show you this thing in action um, from the menu bar you can actually disable the service or enable it I'm gonna go ahead and enable it and you actually have to start the music player. So let's start that and you can just put your finger up and control music that way. It's pretty cool and I can do different things. But let's actually show you a different point of view so you can see me utilize these gestures and actually believe me and not think it's just a trick that I'm pulling on you. So let's go ahead and show you from a different perspective how this works. Now all you need is your music player open. It works with Spotify as I'm about to show you. Also works with iTunes as well as some others that you can check out in the full guide on gadgethacks.com. Now you don't need the window open. You can go about your business. You can browse the web, whatever you need to do. But to actually utilize it and bring up the controls, put your finger up. It'll recognize it. And you can go from left to right and highlight different actions. To click on one or select one, you do a kind of a bending down gesture with your finger as you just saw. You can even hold down that gesture to raise the volume. It's kind of loud. There we go. And we can skip tracks. Now sometimes the lighting can mess up the controls, but for the most part I've had some relatively good success. So uh, definitely check out the full guide on gadgetx.com, especially if you want to see what other compatible music players it works with. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks guys.